Nature gave us ears that are permanently on. Our hearing is one of the senses we can't switch off. We hear everything, all the time, day and night, even when we're asleep, and we react to all sounds. They're all taken care of and processed in one way or another. This is as it should be. Humans are designed to be outside. Our ears instantly tell us where sound is coming from and how far away it is. Strange sounds alert our caveman brain to danger. They get our adrenaline going, preparing us to fight or flight. But we're not living our lives outside anymore. Modern life is spent inside. And here, the rules are different. In a building, the only natural sound is the human voice. All sounds are distorted as they bounce off hard, flat surfaces, such as floors, walls and ceilings. This confuses our hearing. Indoors, it's difficult to hear where dangers are coming from or to hear what people say. We keep hearing the same sound again and again as the noises echo around the room, not just once as our ears are designed to do. Sometimes sounds are great. They can make us happy. But when we try to listen or concentrate or go to sleep, the noises make us anxious, or stressed, or even angry. It's an especially big problem in buildings that we have to spend time in, whether we want to or not, such as schools, offices, and hospitals. Although these buildings should have been designed to help us learn more, to work better, and to recover from illness, they're often so noisy that they're really not fit for purpose. It doesn't have to be this way. Instead, make the inside behave like the natural outdoor environment so our ears and voices can work in harmony. Well-designed schools have acoustic environments that replicate nature, bringing the outside in without echoing. They treat their classrooms acoustically, using materials that redirect and soak up noise, create spaces that inspire communication and, most importantly, learning. Classes start more quickly, the pupils can clearly hear what their teachers say and they can better concentrate on their work. Their memory performs better, so the results improve and so does behaviour. Teachers calm down too. Noise-induced stress and high blood pressure is less of a problem. It's a great improvement over noisy classrooms. If the acoustics are poor, pupils seated on row four may miss up to 50% of what the teacher says. Working in groups also creates more noise. Pupils lose concentration and start to misbehave, chatting loudly instead of working. The teacher responds by shouting, so they get hoarse. Their voices suffer and so does learning. So clearly, schools that invest in good acoustics ensure equal opportunities for all to learn by working in groups that facilitate engaged discussion and problem solving. Such positive and inclusive teaching is less bossy and repetitive. It inspires pupils, engages teachers and ultimately, society prospers. Open plan offices might resemble the great outdoors. There's a sense of space. These offices are meant to make it easier to collaborate, to communicate and learn from each other. Some people, especially extroverts, find them inspiring. They enjoy the buzz. But open plan offices can be stressful, especially for introverts. To them, it's a bit like being on a stage. Being seen all the time is bad enough, but at least you can hide behind a screen or a plant. Sounds are harder to control. Speech is a major distraction. We're all curious, so we love hearing what other people are saying. And speech travels freely, around corners and over dividing walls. It bounces off the floors, walls and ceilings. This makes it very hard to concentrate. Such noise pollution harms both people and profits. Distracted workers are not only unhappy, but also less motivated and less productive. 
It takes a long time to return to deep concentration after being disrupted by noise. People can develop a form of tunnel vision as they no longer take in new ideas. They become less positive and stop thinking outside the box. Stress builds up and so does the rates of sick leave. Companies who take acoustics seriously can avoid such costs. More demanding tasks, such as logical thinking, require better acoustic support. So, by investing in good sound planning, they can protect their most valuable asset, namely the people who work there. Natural light and a connection with the outdoors. They're common across the health sector, in hospitals, in clinics, in mental health facilities and in care homes for the elderly. This is because doctors and nurses know that healing is enhanced by environments that mirror nature, thus making people feel calm and safe. Good acoustic works the same way, and that's especially important here, not least because more than half the patients are over 60. Two out of three people between 60 and 70 have reduced hearing. Some hospitals and care homes have taken acoustics seriously because they know noise can be incredibly damaging to patients and residents. Patients find it hard to fall asleep in noisy hospitals. And it's obviously not easy to get quality sleep when a lot of noise tells their subconscious they're in danger. They get stressed and confused. Their blood pressure rises and their recovery slows. Understanding what people are saying is also difficult when bleeping sounds and distant conversations bounce around between hard floors, ceilings and walls. And not being able to understand speech leads to withdrawal, self-doubt and depression. The noise can be bad for hospital staff too. They make more mistakes. For instance, when dispensing medicine, misunderstandings arise when staff communicate with patients or with each other. Or their own health suffers and they take more sick leave. As such, bad acoustics is expensive in both human and economic terms. When given a choice, patients and residents will steer clear of hospitals and care homes where they don't feel good and instead go where they feel included and well cared for. Hospitals and care homes that take acoustic planning seriously benefit, and so do their patients and residents. To feel included, and changing our buildings to make sure they do, will support everyone, not just those who are hard of hearing or communicate in a second language. Good acoustics make people feel happier and healthier. Society benefits as people learn, work and heal better. As they're no longer distracted by noise, they're also more proactive and productive. So companies gain and the economy grows. And when people and companies produce more with less input, they also help create a sustainable world. <laughs>